All right, Justin. Now, first off, this is Dark Dave's shop. I'm Dark Dave. I'm here with Justin. He is the service manager. Now, Justin, one of the reasons I'm back here, um, I had to get some service done on my bike, my 25,000 service, and the brakes were supposed to be done. Now, the brakes weren't here because of all the delays. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Um, pretty much like every other company on earth right now, we are experiencing supply chain issues. Um, so Harley-Davidson's not exempt from those issues. We're seeing it a lot with other companies as well. Um, and it's due to transportation, uh, basically uh, having the amount of employees necessary to do transport and shipping and things like that, as well as um, actual manufacturing of, of materials like metal alloys, um, plastic alloys, rubbers, things like that, or, and also um, computer components, electronic components, all that stuff is, is just difficult to get made and get shipped right now, which is why we're suffering like this. Cool. Now, we can see from your shirt that this is Rommel Harley-Davidson. Can yep. you tell us a little bit about Rommel Harley-Davidson, like its location? Its location. So, I mean, this is our Annapolis location. Uh, we got two other stores. One in Smyrna, Delaware, and one in Delmarva, um, which is Salisbury, if you're unfamiliar with the area. Um, so those are pretty much the three the three main Harley dealerships on the Eastern Shore. Um, so uh, if, you, if you're going to a Rommel dealer, that's those are the three you're going to go to. Um, and yeah, I mean, Annapolis, pretty popular city, so I mean, you're probably familiar with that. Um, I don't know if you have any other questions as far as that goes. Well, the reason I ask, not every, I mean, I live in the area, so I know, but a lot of my viewers don't. I've noticed I've got some people from Texas okay. and some people from California. Okay. I've got some people in Europe right now. Sure. So I like telling them, hey, this is where it's at. This is where everything is going. Now, you've been the manager for service for how long here? The parts and service manager here uh, going on a couple years. I've been with the company for going on 15 years. Cool. Um, so I started in the detail department and worked my way up through driving the truck, service advisor, um, Maryland State Inspector, um, all the way up to the parts and service manager. Position. Cool, that is excellent. So, yeah. um, one of the reasons I come here, and a lot of people, why do you go to the same dealer? I'm like, well, beyond the fact I bought my bike there, you're close to me. So far, I don't think anyone's ever lied to me here. I always have to say it that way because you never know, but I'm hoping they never do because so far I'm real happy with the dealership. And you guys usually have what we need. Now, I got lucky. You guys were able to find me brakes, so my brakes were being done. Um, how hard was that to find the brakes? So sometimes it's a challenge to find parts. Uh, we're uh, lucky with Harley-Davidson because we have the, the benefit of having so many Harley-Davidson dealerships in the United States that sort of allows us to use our resources to get parts where that, that we can't get from the motor company right now. However, that being said, there are some parts that other dealers know that they need and they won't give up. Um, and so it's just the luck of the draw. So sometimes we get lucky and we can find a part quickly and get it here. Um, other times it's a bit more of a challenge. All right, well, I want to say thank you very much, Justin. Um, now, guys, this is Dark Dave Shop. I'm hoping you guys enjoy these videos. I know this is a short one, so it's probably going to come out on a weekday. But let's keep hoping that everything goes good and we get more bikes out. And I'd like to see more people riding. All right, thank you guys very much. All right, thank you very much. As I said, everybody's like, oh, oh my, trust me, I'm not ever trying to well it's almost out of power that's why it's telling me that how many subscribers do you have so far um right